just had to get out, see something big, see something just beautiful and almost unexplainable. No plan, just get in the car and go, get on the road. You always say, I wish I can do this, I wish I can do that. Like if you can pull it off, like why not? When you travel, it's always like, where did you go? What was the craziest thing you ate? What did it smell like? What was so different? But like, once you cut past that, it's not that different. The real things, the things that kind of make us human and the things that like build communities, they're all the same. Like we're all trying to take care of our families and we're all trying to fall in love and we're trying to eat and try to make sure that we, you know, for the most part, leave the world better than we came to it. a lot you know why are they feeding kids in Southeast Asia when you know there's kids in Detroit that can't eat you know there's people right around the block that can use those same things the distance is just it's just a bigger block that they're around it's just a longer street but it's the same thing like anybody who needs help and anybody who has the ability to help them if you can just connect those two things like match them up in any combination like that's good Professionally, like I never knew what I wanted to do, but within that, like I never would have said, like, oh, I want to like buy merchandise to sell on a website. Like, it's kind of become a way that I could, uh, you know, kind of connect with people. If you're selling something, there's got to be a buyer. You know, if you're delivering a product, like you're sharing an experience with, like, with that person. It's kind of cool to go just digging for stories and in things that you know, things that have added value to my life in one way or another, or things that I wish that I could, could have added value to my life, and be able to like present them to like an anonymous community, and say, hey, these might add value to your life too. Can do a job like this and like the effort that you put in and that collectively we do it changes lives if not saves them like you're not exaggerating there's no hyperbole like we have a foundation of very generous people who are they're looking for something to be a part of now we can go to this next phase where we can go after the indifferent guy I mean, the guys like I mean honestly the guys like me that want to do good you know everybody has that in them they want to help but they don't necessarily know how and they probably won't ever take the time to figure it out. But if you can get them paying attention, you can get me paying attention, then you're creating like incremental generosity. Like we're gonna change the landscape of consumerism. It's gonna be the point where like when I talk to my son or daughter and I say, hey, do you want me to buy you this baseball glove? And they say, who does it give to? Like, no, I don't want it. Like it doesn't do anything good. Like that's, that can totally happen. Like that's not a crazy like outlandish statement. That's just like a, if we don't mess this up, like we can totally get there. And so it's like easy to be inspired by that. My name is Nick Jacobs and I'm the buyer at Sevenly.